Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and this is part 203, I believe, of the Aspirations Challenge. Um, so we had some trouble. I did record um, one episode, and I lost the entire thing. OBS wasn't recording the footage, or did record it, but it was super laggy. And it did this for like, I did recorded four different videos, and it did this, which is really unfortunate. So I'm going to have to catch you guys up on what's going on. Um, but thankfully, not a lot is actually happening. Um, not much happened. I think that, um, oh, uh, Abigail did get to level eight in the writing skill, so we're done with that one. We just need to do painting, still working on video gaming. I think I'm going to get her to do some painting right now, actually. Um, and as for Porter, uh, he hates his new job. Um, he is in a good mood right now because he hasn't had to work like today um at all so i mean once he gets home from work then he'll be in a terrible mood but so far he's doing okay oh there we go he's sad feeling hurt because someone hurt his feelings so something that i went over in the last part but obviously you guys won't see is my final thoughts on porter and i actually just have two words to describe um how i feel about him and and basically my my final thoughts on him so two words pathetic loser i Decided that I don't like Porter. I think that he's a whiner. He complains about everything in his life. Nothing's ever good enough. He's never happy. And I'm sick of him. So <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen with him. But I uh, I don't know. Something's got to give. He's got to get it together. He is never happy with his job. And he's a genius. So I feel like he should have a better... Um, well, I don't know, like not work ethic, but like more of an interest in his job. He didn't like the science career, so I changed it to engineer. He doesn't like that either. Someone did comment and say he would make a good gardener, which I think is true. Um, but we don't have the space for that, like for him to make a career out of gardening. I just, I don't think we can pull it off. Our yard is quite small. I did consider moving but now I'm thinking I don't want to move because I like this house. I like how it's furnished and it would be a lot of work to change all of that. So I don't know. I've been going back and forth. I'm not really sure what to do with Porter. Um, but yeah, at this point, I am just so sick of him. I'm sick of him like always complaining about everything. Now look at him. He's, he's um, upset again. He's tense from cleaning. And you know what he did? He picked up a bag of garbage and brought it inside. And now he's complaining about that. So, so I don't know. This guy's got to get it together. I, and I, I don't know what else to do to help him. Um, also, we adopted another cat. Um, this one here, her name is B. Um, and she... B came into our lives in a bit of a weird way. Um, I came downstairs, or I guess Abby came downstairs, and she was just standing in our kitchen, hissing at our other cat, Molly. So naturally, I adopted her. She's an elder. She's a stray. I felt bad for her. So she's part of our family now. And um, she's old and haggard, but that's okay. <laughs> she's kind of pretty. I like her. Um, she's not very friendly. She's not very kind. That's okay. She's old and... She's just looking for a comfortable place to spend her golden years, and so we're happy to give that to her. Um, so Porter is at work. The kids are at school. They are still not getting along at all. Um, I believe they are actually enemies. They're not, like, they don't have that whole despise each other thing yet, but I'm sure it's coming. Um, I was going to use the rest of um, Abby's vacation time. Uh, so we're going to take a vacation day if possible. And I want to do that because um, it, it feels like crunch time. Like I need to start getting her skills going and we need to spend more time working on those skills. So that's what we're going to do. Hopefully we can complete, well, we're not completing them, but we're trying to get to level eight in six different skills. So far we have done writing and knitting. We are working on video gaming, which we're at level seven. Painting, we're almost at level eight. And then I thought we could do cooking because she's at level five for that. And the other one was flower arranging, but we're only at like just about level three. But that one I think is a cute skill and I do want to try it. I don't think I've ever um, built it past like level four or five. So maybe we could uh, do that one. <laughs> But this one, I'm fully committed to completing in this episode. That's a terrible painting. <laughs> we'll sell that, but it's not very good. Uh, confident painting. 
And Abby is making really good money. Um, her royalties from her books are getting us about $2,000 a day. Um, her career, she earns a lot through that. And she's making some extra money from her paintings too. So she's doing really well. I'm at the point now where I'm like, we don't even really need Porter. And my plan when her and Porter got married was not to have them get divorced because I feel like there's been a lot of divorce in this uh, LP so far. Like most couples don't make it. And maybe that's realistic. Maybe it's depressing. I'm not sure. But I was trying to make this one last. But now I just, I don't like Porter. He just complains too much. And like I said, he's pathetic. <laughs> so having him around is just not that much fun and life would be better without him. So that's where we're at. Um, I'm not going to finish this. I'm just going to scrap it. I know it's a waste of a hundred dollars, but our time is very precious. Um, okay. So there we go. We got our, um, painting skill to level eight, our writing. So we need video gaming, flower arranging and cooking. So let's do some flower arranging. I don't know what else to do. Miss work. Porter is currently missing work. Um, why is he missing work? Oh, he aged up. Oh God, now he's gonna cry his face off because someone forgot his birthday. Uh, I'm just, I'm just sick of him. He's always got this stupid look, pathetic look on his face. And the girls, um, for whatever reason, I don't know why, but she doesn't wear shoes anymore. Like, I don't know, are these Olive's pajamas? I, I'm not sure. That is a great photo because it kind of sums up their life. Um, let's tease about grades, shove, and call names. Um, if you'll recall, Hazel is awful to her sister. Um, let's look at their relationship for a minute here. Um, Hazel's sentiments about Olive hurt. Hazel feels wronged by Olive and being around Olive will remind Hazel of that pain. So I'm not sure what Hazel has ever done to, to Olive um, because Hazel is just a bully. Um, Olive has never done anything to her that I've seen, um, but she feels that she has festering grudge and she also feels hurt by Hazel. So these two feel hurt by each other, which is interesting. Um, I would be very interested to see how long that goes on for um, their, their hatred for each other. Um, if maybe when they become teens, things get better, or if things get worse. I'm really not sure how that's going to go. Okay, uh. keep going with that. Um, I'm hoping, because this is going to cost us 113 simoleons to put together. Oh, Olive, she's literally dying. Okay, come inside. Go to the washroom. Yeah, if this is 113 to put together, I'm hoping that we can sell it for a little bit more than that. Um, sell for 76. So it's really not worth that much yet, but we'll probably get there at some point. Uh, let's get her to serve some dinner. We'll do fish and chips to work on that cooking skill. And then Porter. Yeah, this pathetic little crybaby is going to be so sad for days. Yeah, he's crying in bed right now. This guy sucks. Like, I know we forgot his birthday, but he's always upset about something. And it looks like Hazel has once again destroyed their dollhouse, which doesn't surprise me. Pleasant child that she is. Abigail has earned $1,000 on her day off. Um, so we've got like 34,000 simoleons for Olive when she moves out. I think she's going to have quite a bit of money. Because we're at 34,000 so far. Um... And she's not even a teen yet, so we've got plenty of time to earn more money. Um, Abby, and it seems like Abby is just on her own path. She's doing really well. She's feeling confident, focused. Like, she's feeling great about where she's at with her skills and her aspiration. And I feel like Porter drags her down a little bit, like his mood and everything. So I, I, I would definitely say that Abby is just kind of focusing on herself right now and trying to ignore him, which is exactly what I would do. <laughs> It sounds horrible, but it's not like he's going through a rough patch in life. It's He's always been like this, and he refuses to change his attitude about things, and it's really frustrating to be around, and I, I wouldn't blame her if she felt like Porter was just dragging her down all the time. So I don't know. Maybe you guys see things differently. Let me know what you think, but that's so far, that's where I'm at. I think that Abby's just over it. She's done with it. She's supported him for long enough, and he's got to, at some point, be in control of his own happiness. Um, so she's out here just putting her flower arrangements together. She's doing good. 
It's such a cute scale, actually. I really like this scale. Um, okay, so what else can we do? Porter, clean up these dishes, maybe. Uh, what's this? Let it snow from being outside while snowing. Well, that's good. He's tired from low energy. I will get him to go to bed. Um, the kids are probably going to go to bed soon, too, I would say. Oh, hold on a second. Um, see, I think if we add a vase or vase, I'm not sure how you guys want to say that, but I think if we add that, um, it becomes worth more. Oh, that's really pretty, actually. Oh, it's not worth more. Here, I thought that it was. We'll just sell it. Good, then I want to make another one. Let's do a holly, because that's like a Christmassy one. We'll do winterberry. And she's not even close to tired at the moment, so we might as well just keep going with this and build her skills for as long as possible. And then I guess um, Olive should go to sleep. Let's, let's see where her skill is. We're almost at level four, so I think we're doing pretty good. Um, this is just a skill that I never work on, so I'm interested to see how it goes. And to see if you can make any real money on it. So far, we are losing money. Not a ton, but we are losing a little bit of money because it's not... We're not that great at it. Let's add another vase. We'll do a... Um, hold on. I want to pick one that's Christmassy. White gold. White glitter. Let's do that. Perfect. I kind of want to keep this one. It's worth 48. I don't know where we can put it. I'll just put it on the counter for now. We'll make another one. Let's do a another holly. We'll do a winterberry. See, like, she's pretty good at this. I think that's really nice. And it's almost Christmas, so we can hold on to that for a bit. How are we doing with our skill? Almost at level four. So that's good. Halfway there. Add a vase. So that's with 96 without a vase and 96 with a vase. So it looks like it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to get her to go to bed now, even though she's not super tired. Um, we'll just go to sleep anyway. Good. So I feel like we're doing really good for her aspiration. I am enjoying this aspiration. I think it's a fun one. Um, so far, there aren't a ton, of as a ton of aspirations that I don't really like. So I feel like um, I don't know. I, I don't, I feel like I don't complain too much about the aspirations. Um, some of them are a little bit harder than others, but I still appreciate them. And the girls have three days beca before they become teens. So that is blowing by. Um, I must've played through at least like maybe two, maybe even three days in the last part. So I'm sorry that you guys missed so much, but nothing really happened. We just wrote some more books and that was pretty much it. Uh, Porter, you can go and take a shower. I was considering building Porter a greenhouse. I'm not sure if I'll still do that, but I was thinking about it. Uh, and then he could do some gardening from the backyard. The problem is he won't make very much money from a greenhouse. And then he's going to be at home all the time. Um, and I don't know if I want that. I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about him. I'm, I'm tempted to just get rid of him. <laughs> But it's kind of harsh. Uh, he's he's still like, uh, I don't know, he's still Olive and Hazel's dad, so I should, I, I feel like I owe him something. Okay, let's take a shower. What are you doing? Oh, I thought he was going to cry in bed again, but he's not. That is like his daily routine. Alright, so he's washing some laundry. I think the rest of the house looks good. Usually I just get, maybe he hates his life because I make him clean all the time. I don't know. What's going on? Oh, everybody's cold. I thought I put in a thermostat, but I couldn't find one. I guess I'll just put one in now. I don't know where, like every single wall in this house is filled. Um, but I'll find a place. Let's put it, can we put it here? I don't even know. See what I mean? Like, there's nowhere to put anything. I'll put it right there. I don't know if that'll work, but we'll try it. Oh, Porter's building a snowman. You know what? Good for you. If, if it's something he enjoys, then he should definitely do that. And the kids are going to school. Porter, yes, you're going to go to work today. Oh, look, he's feeling happy. Uh, made a snow friend. Swooby. Well, that's good. I mean, I'm glad you made a snow friend. 
Uh, what else can we do here? There's no mail. Might as well just go to the front of the house and wait for the carpool and Abby. Oh, it's Abby's birthday. I should try not to forget it. <laughs> is it actually her birthday though? Yeah, it is. Okay. I'll get her to make herself a birthday cake and we'll go downstairs and get that over with. Um, I don't like, I, I don't care about these birthdays at all. I wish this could be like in The Sims 3 when you would just click on a Sim, age them up. You didn't have to wait a super long time. Um, like this, you, you, I feel like you have to you have to wait forever to age a Sim up because you got to make them a cake. And then you don't even really want the cake once their birthday is over. I just throw it in the garbage. So I do wish you could just click on a Sim, have them age up and just get it over with. So we did get our cooking to level six, which is good. We're, that's another skill that we are working on. Um, we'll add, oh, we can't. Add birthday candles. She's just gonna age up on her own basically, which is kind of sad, but. She'll be more sad if I don't age her up with a cake at all. Oh, I was gonna get a picture, but I thought, I, I clicked the fast forward button instead. There we go cake in the garbage perfect um also i think we'll do another vacation day because we're gonna make money just staying at home we have so many uh those days built up perhaps some leftovers i'm gonna get both the kids to study hard porter can just do whatever i don't really need him to work hard because he's not gonna get promoted i don't i didn't give him the skills that he needs so that may be a bit of a disservice to him but i don't care And then what should we do? We could work on our flower arranging. We could work on our cooking. There's a lot of options. Actually, I think I'll get her to take a quick shower before um, all the kids come home. All the kids, we only have two, but before everyone comes home and then the bathroom isn't available anymore. Um, also in the last part, we got a notification saying that Owen Green, who I didn't know who, I didn't know who that was right away, but um, Owen Green was adopted, so Rita has actually passed away, and her son had to be adopted. So, kind of sad, but, I mean, it's not really Abby's problem, because we didn't know him, and she's not related to Owen, so I didn't feel obligated to do anything about that. Just a little side note that um, Rita has passed away. So we're playing some more video games for a bit. Not that fun to watch, but it's got to be done. And then the girls will be home. Grades are up. Hazel is done with school. A B is not bad. Okay, so Hazel has a B in school. I bet they would compete about their grades as well. Um, I think Hazel will be very competitive. I don't know. She's just uh, she's just not a pleasant child. It's fun to play with though. I really I really do like it. It's a, it's a good time. All right, how's the video game going? Um, we're doing pretty good. We'll, we'll get there for sure. Uh, that's like the one skill that I want to get d just over with. Okay, let's um, let's go do another arrangement. We'll do a begonia romantic rouge. That's worth 194. So we'll do that. Also, I've been having issues where my game will actually crash. So it only happened twice, but still I'm, I'm a little nervous about this. So I do want to do a quick save just in case something happens. Okay, maybe it's not as quick as I thought. <laughs> I was hoping it'd be a little quicker than that. But yeah, I did have an issue where my game just shut down for no reason. And now I'm scared. I'm going to get the girls to grab some food, I think. Grab, grab leftovers. Oh, Olive came right home and did her homework. I don't even think I told her to do her homework. That's good, homework complete, all right. That makes life easy. Porter's at work, we'll see what kind of mood he's in when he gets back. Ooh, this is a pretty one. I like that, uh, the pink flower. Okay, he brought home money, yeah, he's tense. What else is new? Grab some food. Oh, she's sneezing while doing this, that's funny. Good company from adoring someone nearby. I don't know who that would be, but okay. Oh, that's a really nice one. I like the confetti vase. Let's sell that. It's 259 and we'll make another one. So yeah, we are making a little bit of money on each one. So I think that as you build your skill, um, they're worth more, which makes perfect sense. That's usually how it goes with pretty much everything. 
uh, and then Hazel, I'll get her to go to the washroom and then do her homework. Uh, both the kids brought home school projects as well, so we should probably work on those. Spencer Green. Um, yeah, so I think what I'll do is I'm, I'm deciding if I should just make Porter work and just like suck it up and keep working or if we should do the gardening, which I do like, but it's almost like giving in to his whininess. So I haven't decided what I should do. You guys can let me know what you think. Am I being too harsh with Porter <laughs> or would you agree that he is a pathetic loser? Uh, let's do another Romantic Rouge because that was worth quite a bit. Okay, Porter, go to the washroom, clean the sink. I don't know what else to do. He also is in a really bad mood because he needs to have some fun. Uh, and the girls, I think they're doing pretty good. I'll get her to go to the washroom and play dolls. And flower arranging is almost at level five, so we're doing pretty good with that. Almost done. Then we'll sell it and get her to go to bed. Uh, let's add a vase. We'll do the the fire and ceramic and sell it for 129. So that one wasn't worth as much as I was expecting, but that's okay. And I will get her to go to bed and I am going to have to leave this episode here. The episodes for this week are going to have to be a little shorter because I'm on a bit of a time crunch. Um, uh, obviously I lost a whole bunch of videos and I have to catch on uh, catch up on those so if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up comment down below and I will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching